Hi, this is Dan Elder from Kidasa Software. I'm here to talk about finding hidden symbols in your Milestones professional schedule. Now, the first tip I'm going to talk about is on the View tab, and it's called Highlight Invisible Symbols. So I'm going to click on that, and then you'll see a lot of uh, little orange boxes kind of pop up on the schedule. Uh, these are all invisible symbols. So if I click on one, you know, this might be like an old task that I forgot to remove. Um, so if I want to get rid of that symbol, um, I can just press delete on the keyboard. So I'm going to click on that one as well. So this is just an extra random symbol floating around. Press delete. And I'm going to select this one and press delete as well. And finally, you'll notice this symbol down here, kind of in the bottom right. Uh, so if I click on this symbol, uh, you'll actually see in the status bar down in the bottom left, there is an S inside brackets after the date. So that's actually a status symbol. So that sets the status date for this particular task row. So if I move this symbol, you can see that actually changes the percent complete. And you should see a little percent complete sign on the um, little triangle as you move it. Um, so that's letting you know that that's actually a status symbol. So um, an invisible status symbol is fine if that's how you're tracking percent complete on your row. So you, we can just leave that symbol alone. Now, another good thing to do is to insert a symbol count column. So I'm going to go to Insert tab, New Column, Symbol Count. And you'll see here the number of symbols in each row. Uh, with a zero, that's going to be a summary level. So there's no actual symbols there. This is just kind of a representation of these symbols uh, down below. You can't actually click on um, any of these summary tasks. What we can do though is click on one symbol in this task row and then we can start pressing left or right on our keyboard arrow keys and kind of see if there's any other symbols on these task rows. And you can see as I press left and right it's highlighting other symbols and Again, we can look in the status bar down in the bottom left, and we can actually see that these are baseline symbols um, that are currently hidden on the schedule. So we're going to go back to the View tab, and there's an option right here, Show Baseline. I'm going to click on that. So if I do Show Baseline, now it's going to show the baseline, and it's going to show all those invisible symbols on the ends of the baseline. So now we've still got some symbols that are hidden somewhere. In our symbol count column, you can see in this construction row, it's got five symbols. Um, in this row, it's got five symbols as well. But we can account for all of those symbols. We've got two baseline symbols, two normal symbols, and one status symbol. So usually if you see an extra symbol somewhere, it's going to be outside of the date range. So you can either change the date range to kind of look around and see if you see any other symbols, or if you just click on a symbol, you can just press left on your keyboard. And so in this case, this symbol was in the past. So you can see it's in July of 2022. And our date range starts in 2023. So that symbol is way in the past. So if I wanted to see it, you know, I could increase the date range uh, just to see that symbol over there. Um, it might be easier, though, just to press delete on my keyboard. I can just get rid of that symbol since it's obviously just an extra symbol that was back there for some reason. So if I press delete, then now the summary bars should be updated correctly. And so yeah, the schedule looks pretty good. I can just go back to the View tab and turn off Highlight Invisible Symbols. And that's pretty much it for finding hidden symbols inside Milestones Professional. Feel free to go to our website at kidasa.com and check out what's new in version 2023 and email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Have a nice day.